Hi students. So this video is to help you if you weren't able to work on our evidence log together or if you just needed a little extra help to finish it. So what you're going to want to do is go to our Google Classroom page, click on classwork, and you're going to want to open that's not progress evidence log as well as the article to highlight. So I've already done that students. I have them both opened up and what I like to do is have them on my screen so I can kind of look at both at the same time. So what we did um, when we read through this is we highlighted the different parts of this article that related to evaluative language. So that's language up here that has to do with credibility, logic, and reason, and emotion. So if you haven't done that already, it'd be a really good idea to stop right now to pause this video and to read this article to yourself and highlight anything that is related to what you see here. Once you've done that, what we're going to be doing is essentially copying and pasting some of this evidence into our evidence log. So take a look at what we have so far. In class, we worked on the quick write. So you can see my quick write if it helps you. Don't copy what I wrote, but if you need to catch up, go ahead and pause so you can see an example of what you could write. Okay, so the way that I think it's best to attack these types of activities, students, is to find the evidence or the quotes first. So what we want to look for first, if we're starting with this row right here, we want to look for some examples of positives with modern technology. So what I'm going to do, students, I'm going to look through my article and I'm looking at what I highlighted and I'm looking for some examples of positive things that come from social media. And you know what, so far, I'm really only seeing negatives. Hmm, oh, I found it. When I get to paragraph eight, I see that Dr. Megan Moreno believes that social networking helps develop a young person's sense of community. That is a good thing. So what I'm gonna do, students, I'm going to copy, so I'm going to select this sentence, and on my computer, I'm going to hold down CTRLC for control, copy, and then I'm going to paste it right here, CTRLV for paste. Awesome. Now, what we need to add is quotation marks. So let's make sure that we put our quotation marks at the beginning of the sentence and at the end. And then what we're gonna wanna do is put in the paragraph that we found this in, and we found it in paragraph eight. So go ahead and pause the video right now so that you can do that. Now, once you have this first quote in, what we're gonna wanna do is actually put in the second sentence. She also believes that it can be used to identify youth who are most at risk for depression. That is a positive because that means that we can get some help if we're feeling sad. So we're going to do the same thing. CTRLC for copy. CTRLV for paste. So we're holding down that control and that V button to paste. And then we're also going to make sure that we put our quotation marks at the beginning of the sentence and at the end of the sentence. And then lastly, we're going to cite it. So we're going to put the paragraph that we found it in. So go ahead and pause this video right now so that you can make sure your evidence looks like mine. All right. So now that I've got some evidence in, it's a little easier for me to answer this guiding question. Remember students, 
that we're just answering these questions based off of what the article says. So we're not basing it off of our personal experience or our personal opinion. So this guiding question says, how does the article explain the positives of modern technology? So what I'm going to do, students, I'm actually going to use part of the question in my answer. And how I'm going to do that is this. I'm going to say the article explains that. And then what I want to do, students, I want to look at the evidence that I've picked out. So this evidence, it says that young people can create a sense of community and that they can be identified if they are most at risk for depression. Those are both really good things. A community, think of it like a group of friends. So I want you to think right now, if you use social media, if you use Snapchat or TikTok or Instagram or Twitter, any of the social medias out there, do you ever connect with your friends on it? Do you ever send a message or a snap or a tweet or a TikTok to a friend and say, hey, look at this, isn't it funny? Or hey, this reminded me of you. All of that, students, is creating community. It's creating a connection with each other. So that's what I'm going to write down. I'm going to write down that the article explains that young people can connect with each other through technology. Perfect. So why don't you pause this video and write down what I wrote in my gray box. And if you want to phrase it differently, you're very welcome to do that as well. All right, so now I only have two more boxes to fill in. I've got this green one and this blue one. So the green one says, explain how this selection or this text addresses the use of technology. So what I'm going to do, students, I'm going to look back at my article one more time. Notice that I'm, I have them both open side by side like this so I can just click back and forth easily. So I'm looking at paragraph eight and I'm noticing that it was actually a doctor that said the quotes, Dr. Megan Moreno. Interesting. Okay. So I notice that she's talking to us about the good parts of social media and social networking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my green box here. And I'm going to write that doctor's name. Dr. Moreno explains in the article, notice students that I'm kind of using the same type of sentence that I used in my answer for the gray box. So back to what I'm writing in this green box. Dr. Moreno explains in the article that social networking or maybe social media can help young people who want to connect with each other. I spelled media wrong. Let me fix that. Oh, I'm so glad I took a moment to reread what I wrote. So what I'd like you to do, students, right now is pause this video again and either copy down what I've written in my green box or say it in another way. Awesome. All right, everyone. So now we've got one more box to fill out. And this is the box that really calls on our brain to think a little bit more deeply. So I noticed that the blue box says, in what ways can accessing information through the internet be difficult? How has the internet made access to information easy? Hmm. Well, I'm thinking specifically about social media. And I think social media can be kind of hard for some people to connect with. Okay, so here's what I'm going to write. I'm going to write accessing social media can be difficult or some due to Wi-Fi. 
But at the same time, once you can access it, it's really easy, right? TikTok is so easy. All you have to do is press a button and you get to see all these videos and you swipe up, you swipe down. Same can be said for Snapchat. We just press a button and we can see different clips that our friends post or people we follow post. So I'd like to add for the second sentence to answer the question, how has the internet made access to information easy? I'd like to put social media technology has made it easy for young people to connect to others in their towns, in other states, and in other countries. Perfect. So students, why don't you go ahead and pause this video so that you can copy down what I wrote or maybe you wanna say it in a different way. Wonderful. Now students, that's all for this first row. What I'd like you to do now is click on the second video that was uploaded so that I can walk you through how to work on the second row.